Sometimes when you're using the crafty method to grow your peppers, your peppers will grow much faster than you thought they would. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to take your overgrown peppers and turn them into nice little bushy plants just like this. I've got some really awesome before and after footage to show you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now you wanna start when your plants are pretty young. They're gonna start growing, and the first thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna have all these really big leaves on top. These really big, nice, dark leaves are gonna be growing on top. And then down below that, coming right off of the stem, you're gonna see new growth, little green shoots starting to come out from the stem. But those shoots aren't getting light because the top foliage is covering those shoots from getting any of it. Now, if we just let these peppers grow just like this, yeah, they're gonna be perfectly healthy, perfectly fine, but they're gonna grow really big and take up a lot of space. And before you know it, you're gonna be running out of room. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at these leaves that are down here at the bottom right there by the base of the stem and we want to get as much light down into those as we possibly can the first thing i normally do is i just start cutting the top right off right off of the plants i know it seems drastic and this isn't really something i do a lot anymore the only time i, I really cut plants up like this is when i'm using the crafty method and i want to keep them just nice and small and compact so let's go ahead and cut the top off and then what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at some of these bigger leaves that are left and how they're blocking the light from getting down into the leaves below we're just going to go ahead and start trimming up some of those leaves and really just open up that bottom foliage because all of these little green shoots down here at the bottom those are branches waiting to grow so if you give them the light that, that they need they're going to grow straight out instead of up and you're gonna find yourself with this really awesome, just bushy, compact plant. Every plant is obviously gonna be different. Each one of the plants that I'm cutting up today are definitely gonna be different. <laughs> I film myself cutting up each one of these, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Now, cue some music or something to show you guys all of these plants in Fast Forward and how I cut them up. Okay, so now we got all these plants cut up. We cut the tops off of them. We trimmed down all the big leaves and we were making sure that that bottom foliage coming off of that stem is getting the light. As you saw, a lot of those plants, I really chopped them up pretty small. <laughs> I think there was one of them that I only left like two or three inches of a little stump and, and it's totally fine. Where I can, I left some bigger leaves up on the top that weren't gonna be affecting the small leaves below it. I left those on top, they're totally fine. We just wanna be promoting this bottom growth rather than, rather than the top growth. Once again, I don't think that trimming, pruning, topping your plants is necessary whatsoever in normal situations. I don't top my plants or prune them or anything anymore. I plant them, I let them grow, I bring them outside, they do their thing. They grow perfectly fine, perfectly well, just like that. But if you're in this situation where I want to get as many pepper plants to produce peppers for me inside of my grow tent so that way I can breed them and start crossing different peppers. Well, if I was to let these plants grow to full size and start fruiting that way, I'm only gonna be able to fit like two, maybe three plants in the space that I have. With this case, what's gonna happen is they're gonna stay nice and small and bushy and I'll be able to fit six of them in the same, in the same amount of space. They're gonna be nice and small, they're gonna grow really quickly, and once I get them going, they're gonna be pushing out a lot of peppers for me. That's gonna make my life a lot easier when I start crossing these peppers, so I don't have to worry about dealing with this giant, huge plant here. All right, so here's a shot of all six of those plants, all trimmed up. Yeah, it looks pretty drastic. Some of them look pretty barren, and you're probably thinking that I just killed all my plants. <laughs> these plants are gonna grow back much easier than you might think, and I'm about to show you right now. Here are the plants about two and a half weeks later. They all bounce back. They're all extremely healthy plants and they are doing exactly what I wanted them to do. They are staying nice and bushy. They're really short, really compact. A lot of these are starting to put out flowers and these are just about ready for me to start my crossing project. If I wouldn't have chopped these up in the first place, these plants would just have kept growing straight up. They'd be, yes, they would be getting bushy, but they'd be getting bushy and tall. <laughs> so this, this took the tall factor out of that, kept them nice, small, bushy, and now I can fit all of these right where I need them and I will have no problem getting tons of peppers off of these tiny little plants. Eventually, I may have to do a little bit more trimming to these if they start deciding to grow taller again, but at this point, it's not really a big deal. They're, they're already being trained to stay nice and small and compact. I'll just kind of take and, and trim up the top here and there, but it's not really a big deal. I feel like I can't talk to you guys about Crafty systems if I don't mention the roots. Crafty can go one way or the other for you. You can love it or you can hate it, and a lot of people are gonna be hating it that 
are doing it incorrectly. It's all about the root systems. The root systems are gonna be growing little white fuzzy roots that and those roots are gonna be searching out for air and if you drown those roots you're gonna drown your plant and it's gonna die so let's take a look at some relatively unhealthy roots compared to some really healthy roots so let's go ahead and start with the unhealthy first now as you can see there's a little bit of brown up top yes we have some fuzzy roots and those brown roots up top they're still they're still firm they're not slimy they're not gross I can definitely tell that I filled this up too far at least at one point and those roots aren't totally happy up there. But if you look down here a little bit lower, what you're gonna be seeing is those bottom roots are slimy and brown and gross. And what that tells me is I didn't let this plant completely dry out and I didn't stop it from getting root rot. What I'm probably gonna end up having to do with this plant here is I'll most likely end up cutting some of that those nasty brown slimy roots off because if I don't, it's potentially gonna be spreading up the plant and that's not good for the plant. So the key here is if you do see some of these brown slimy roots, you want to cut them back. You don't want to just be topping off your nutrients. You want to make sure that when you are refilling your nutrients, rinse your container out a little bit. You're going to start throwing off the amount of nutrients you have in there, how concentrated they are, the pH levels, everything's going to be thrown off. So you want to make sure you rinse out your container really well. At the very least, like I, you should be doing it every time, but I think for me, I, every two or three refills, I end up just dumping them all out and I rinse them out really well and fill it with brand new nutrients. That'll help you make sure that you're not burning your roots or giving it the wrong amount of nutrients or anything like that. Now let's check out a good root system here. So if you look at this one, you're gonna see a lot of white fuzzy roots at the top and those are those air roots that I was talking about. And all the way down below, we don't have any root rot down at the bottom. Everything is nice and relatively white. Yes, the roots are gonna get a little bit stained, a brownish reddish color because of the nutrients, but they're not slimy, they're nice and firm, and these are some really healthy roots. And I think the two biggest keys to keeping roots like this that are not getting root rot is let it dry out completely before you refill your nutrients, number one. And number two, when you do refill your nutrients, don't fill it all the way to the top. You wanna look and see where your white fuzzy roots stop and you wanna fill the nutrient level up to about there. You don't want to drown those, those air roots because once you do that, your whole plant is gonna drown, you're gonna start getting root rot and it's gonna be a mess. I know that keeping these plants small isn't for everybody, for me, th there's one of two ways to do it. I can grow two full-size, really awesome plants. They're, they're gonna give me a lot of peppers and it's gonna be really fun. Or I can grow six peppers, grow more varieties, and just kind of experiment a little bit more with peppers. For me, this hobby isn't about just getting peppers out. It's about having fun and experimenting and seeing new things I can come up with, trying different ways of growing them. And when you're doing small crafty systems like this, it is a very good way to kind of experiment a little bit and try out new pepper types and just kind of have fun with growing peppers rather than just making it a job or just to get that end product of a pepper. <laughs> For me, it's a lot more than that. I like to have fun with this. This video started with plants that were already grown. So if you want to see how I got from tiny little seedlings and how I transplanted it into my Cracti systems, how I made my Cracti systems and how I set this all up, go ahead and watch this video right here. This is going to show you exactly how I did it and how to get you to the starting point of this video. If you enjoyed the information I gave you here today, consider subscribing and go down and like the video.